The turning point in the history of World of Tanks was the event in late 2015 that didn't happen. The Rubicon update changed not only the approach to introducing new features to the game, but also the format of interacting with the tank community. Previously, the developers wanted to share the news about interesting new features with players as soon as possible, but now they became much more careful in their announcements. However, the most important aspect remained unchanged. The development team was still committed to making the game better and more interesting. But how do you add new features in a way so that most players will be okay with them? The answer was simple. You needed to work on them with the players themselves. In June 2016, the Sandbox test server was introduced as an environment where the developers could try out changes in the game along with players. And the first thing to test was pivotal in World of Tanks, balance. Global balance changes were much needed at that point, and both the players and developers knew it. But everyone realized that the consequences of such changes could be extremely significant. The list of changes announced for the first sandbox testing iteration was very extensive. Introducing roles for different vehicle types, artillery rebalancing, changing vehicle maneuverability, recalculating gun damage systems, decreasing shell armor penetration with distance, and many more. The decision was made to rebuild the balance starting from the top of the tech trees and moving down. After the rebalance was tested, Sandbox became the place to try out other features. Initially, players needed to submit an application and make it through selection to get access to the test server. At the same time, the developers pointed out that they were interested in the participation of many players. And indeed, it became much easier to take part on Sandbox. The first surveys after the test showed that players were enthusiastic about the Sandbox idea. They were glad to know that their opinions would prove significant when making decisions. In the end, Sandbox became a truly unique aspect of World of Tanks. It wasn't like a common test nor a super test. There, the developers shared and continued to share their ideas and hypothesis with players all the while studying player opinions on all experiments. When new features appear on Sandbox, it doesn't mean they will be added to the game. However, this is where the first steps towards new changes in the game are made by developers and players to help take World of Tanks to the next level.